I love creating content on many different media. And today I want to talk about podcasting. The first experiments in podcasting, the first wave of uh, popularity of uh, audio distributed over the internet actually started before video uh, became popular through YouTube or other means. But recently, over the course of the past few years, it regained popularity anew. I had many podcasting experiments in the past, but what, uh, together with my team, I am announcing today is that all my content that has an audio track is also now available as audio only via a podcast subscription. You can go to davidorban.com slash podcast and use your favorite podcast player, whether it is uh, the Apple branded podcast player or Google Podcasts or Amazon or Spotify or actually any other tool as well, and you will be able to automatically receive as an audio only uh, download the episodes of the context, but also searching for the question live, qual è la domanda in Italian, uh, and I will be producing also traditional podcast only um, content, uh, whether by myself or together with guests in a more interview style. Now, why is podcasting gaining popularity and why are podcasts so enjoyable by so many people? I think that every kind of media has a place, whether it is the printed text on dead wood we call paper, whether it is digital text, of course, online video, or even traditional broadcast television, and so on and so forth. So what we are asking ourselves is not why podcasting uh, and podcasts are popular by themselves. There are enough people uh, using technology uh, to, at a given degree, for everything to be able to um, be um, viable. Just as an example, LP discs, long playing vinyl discs, are a medium. Actually, uh, even though, obviously, uh, they are nothing compared to uh, the diffusion that, uh, for example, uh, a song receives uh, when released on a popular uh, MP3, MP3 distribution platform like uh, uh, iTunes or Amazon Music, LP discs became more and more popular as uh, collectors and aficionados started asserting their love for that particular medium. What matters and what we are talking about when we are asking ourselves what makes podcasting and podcasts popular is a share of our global attention. There are 24 hours in a day. And our decision of what we dedicate our time to is something that matters. Do we have to spend a lot of time um, producing the value that allows us to uh, procure and pay for food? Uh, do we uh, sleep a lot or less? Do we uh, go out gardening? Uh, 
uh, either for enjoyment or because it is part of uh, our daily uh, work. And every other activity, of course, divides uh, our time. And there are certain things that we can only do when we are exclusively dedicated to that activity. For example, uh, if we want to watch a movie, we have to sit down and dedicate, let's say, typically 90 minutes to that, nothing else. There are exceptions um, with uh, uh, Netflix and uh, in general on-demand video. We have learned, unfortunately, that we can interrupt watching a movie too. Some of us will go and uh, smoke a cigarette uh, or others uh, check on uh, a, a boiling pot of uh, food uh, uh, for lunch or dinner, whatever it is. But in general, either we do one thing or we watch a movie, nothing else. A fundamental characteristic of listening to a podcast is that there are a very large number of activities that we are doing anyway during the day that allows us to, in the meantime, listen to a podcast that we like. And that is, I think, the fundamental advantage that an audio-only stream has above other types of media. Now, from time to time, during the context, there will be some visual clue, uh, an illustration, uh, a little uh, clip or an image uh, that uh, my uh, editor will um, splice in uh, during the editing process. I almost never make reference to those pieces of illustrations. I will not say a sentence as you can see on this image, thing A is better than thing B, or something like that. The illustration adds to listening to my voice, but you are actually not required to watch the video while you are listening to the audio, even though, of course, it is nice uh, to make eye contact uh, it is nice to maybe see me smiling or getting passionate about some uh, particular subject, gesticulating with my hands. It is not essential. The fact that the context should be available as audio only was requested by many of you. And it took us longer than we uh, originally expected isn't that the case with many projects, but now we have uh, the context as well as my other content available uh, as audio only. So you will be able to uh, subscribe and then listen to the episodes uh, when you drive your car, uh, when you uh, work out uh, at home or at the gym, uh, when uh, you do, uh, do your chores um, or cook food in the kitchen and many, many other activities that allow listening while doing something else. Another advantage of uh, the uh, podcasts is that it is certainly content that you can search and select and get recommended. But once you subscribe to a given podcast uh, provider, such as the context or searching for the question or qual è la domanda, it is extremely convenient. You then um, have uh, as part of your routine uh, the opportunity to develop um, a, a natural reflex. Okay, I am at a given place, I fire up my podcast player and uh, I either choose a particular subscription or I just let the player reproduce the latest episode of one thing that I subscribed and the other thing and so on. So uh, the usability of podcasts is also extremely high. 
From the point of view of the podcast producer, uh, the requirements and, and the um, uh, barriers to entry for producing a podcast are relatively lower. Now, this of course means that there is an enormous volume of production and some of that will be uh, of a lower quality, unavoidably. But some other podcast producers dedicate the energy and uh, the uh, resources that they have available to actually increase the quality of a podcast. Uh, I, for example, love uh, Malcolm Gladwell's uh, podcast uh, series uh, that uh, is uh, produced not only very well scripted and with him talking he is not only a great writer but has uh, uh, also a very good voice uh, it is wonderful to uh, listen to him but in addition the podcast episodes are enriched by interview segments by sound effects by uh, a variable soundtrack that goes in and out according to the uh, theme that is being covered, underlying the emotions that are being expressed. And all of this contributes to a really a very high quality experience as you listen to Malcolm Gladwell on his uh, podcasts. Now, an interesting component that has been recently introduced by Apple and I am sure it will be universal um, pretty soon, is the ability to search and find interesting, relevant podcasts for your own collection and subscriptions, not only by title and description, but by searching the content. So basically what Apple is now doing is they are indexing uh, the volume of podcasts that are submitted to them and they are um, running those audio tracks through automatic speech recognition engines that today are high quality enough uh, to be able to trust them if not for the complete transcription that uh, could be made available but for discovery for finding uh, podcasts. And uh, that is going to be very cool and very important because uh, the ability to add to your collection new things um, that uh, through your developing interests you find valuable uh, is going to be greatly enhanced uh, by this ability of searching not only by description, but by content. The future of uh, podcasting uh, is uh, open. There are many things that uh, can develop uh, through it. Uh, one of the uh, things I also love about podcasts is listening to them uh, at uh, at least 1.5, 1.75 or twice the speed, uh, which enables me uh, to follow what is being said and of course the modern systems don't change the pitch of uh, the exposition. The speaker on the podcast does not sound like a chipmunk. Their voice, their pitch remains normal. But the speed is greatly uh, increased in proportion of what you choose, what you find still intelligible. But of course you can listen to more stuff and that is wonderful. So there are features that uh, are being discovered and, and distributed. So um, I hope that uh, you will like uh, this uh, new opportunity as well to uh, listen to the content that I create and uh, uh, I am happy to be able to uh, offer it to you. Uh, some of you uh, may be new to podcasts, 
So I invite you to experiment, experience them and experiment with them through my content. Others uh, will have already uh, developed uh, a habit of listening to podcasts in the past. So there you go. You can add my podcasts to your collection. Uh, to get uh, a good overview and an index of everything, go to davidorban.com slash podcast. And there you can subscribe with your favorite podcast software, whether on uh, Apple, on Android, um, using Amazon or Spotify. Uh, and for the moment, you get uh, three shows. The context, searching for the question, and qual è la domanda in Italian. Thank you very much. Enjoy. <laughs>